Hello everyone! Thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Your source for the hottest, nastiest, most filthiest videos on YouTube. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I love to talk about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If uh, that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. If you like what you see, do subscribe. <laughs> if you like what you see here, you want to learn more about me. I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I also have a Twitch. It's the same username all throughout David A. Qua. So what you're looking at here, I'm going to pan through here my collection of DVDs, Blu-rays related to comic book characters, superheroes, graphic novels, Marvel, DC. It's all here, man. You're probably going to notice something. Hey, David! Somebody's going to uh, uh, comment on this video and be like, Hey, David, where's the rest of your collection? Didn't you have more DVDs and Blu-rays before? Yeah! And that's why I've been holding it out, this video, for so long. People keep asking me, Hey, David, do an update! Marvel DVD collection video and stuff like that. And I'm like, uh, do you expect that the update video will have more, you know, titles than before? Do you see the growth through the years and stuff like that? Because honestly, I actually sold a bunch of stuff. So for those of you who don't, don't know, okay, for those of you who don't know, I recently graduated from school. I, mo I moved, found a new job, two states away. I went from Kansas to Texas. I went from a big house to a little house. I just couldn't bring everything with me. So I had to sell a bunch of titles, a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays, video games, books, action figures, tons of stuff, okay? And these are the survivors. Some of these I don't want to sell. Some of these I couldn't sell. So these are the survivors. A lot of people are gonna be like, hey David, where's the rest of your MCU movies? It's like, and there's just phase one movies right here, yeah. It's not like you don't get anything for, for selling them. But I guarantee you, I don't know. Some of you may like think, think no, they that's a stupid idea. It would never make money. You know, I don't think they would ever do that. But I think that when Infinity War Part 2 or whatever it's going to be called, right? When it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray, uh, including, you know, Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and Wasp and all that stuff, it's going to have a complete MCU franchise Blu-ray set. $300, all the movies, all in one set, phase one, phase two, phase three, all in one collection. Now, I, some of you guys may be like, no, nah, David, they would never do that, but I am, I, I'm gonna wait to see, okay? And if they do do, uh, do it, okay, I'll buy it, I'll unbox it for you guys, make a video and all that stuff, be like, hey, this is my you know ultimate collection of the MCU movies, but for right now, that's kinda all there is, okay? Um, tons of DC stuff, okay, I actually grew up with DC, um, you know, the movies and the characters on TV shows and stuff like that, Arrow, The Flash, Gotham, you know, there's a Supergirl TV series and stuff like that. Anyway, we're going to go through each of these titles. I'm not sure if I'm going to give you like reviews or talk about the bonus features and stuff like that. I want to, I, I want this video to go as quickly as possible, okay, because I want to talk about, well, uh, previously I, I talked about, um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, Disney movies, right? So here are the superhero movies, all the comic book movies, right? Next time we'll probably do sci-fi stuff. So things like Robocop, Terminator, uh, Planet of the Apes, you know, Jurassic Park, Back, Back of the Future, you know, those type of movies, that's next time. Or maybe, maybe I'll talk about the uh, British DVDs I have, like Doctor Who and Orphan Black and anything, Harry Potter, stuff, stuff like that, you know? Or, uh, I don't know, 80s movies, action movies, whatever. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, maybe comedies. But uh, let's go ahead and go through this collection of comic book related movies. All right? For those of you who have been asking me for a, oh, David, talk about all your Marvel movies, talk about all your DC movies, stuff like that. This is the ultimate video right here. I'm going to talk about both franchises, that, uh, everything I own right now. Okay? So let's start way up here. Batman, the 1943 movie serials, okay? There's, uh, there's 15 episodes or shorts or whatever you want to call it. They're all black and white, by the way. They're black and white uh, uh, little serials. And then here we got um, the classic uh, Superman Fletcher uh, series, like uh, the ones that you see at the beginning of the movies. 
right? In theaters. So, uh, yeah, this is a great collection right here. If you're a huge Superman fan, you got to have that. <clears throat> we got the uh, Adam West Batman movie. Okay, I know they released like TV. Like, I don't have the Batman animated series. I don't have um, you know the Adam West series and stuff like that. Uh, you know, Justice League, Bat Superman stuff like that. I have those like digitally. Like I, I, I just go on Netflix or something and watch those. You know, um, if they take them out, then okay. If, if there's there's no way, no other way but to get them on DVD and Blu-ray or whatever. Okay, I, then I'll have to switch to it. But right now it's like I'm being spoiled by on-demand video, man. You got the Christopher Reeve movies right here, all four of them. Okay, I want the Richard Donner cut and the uh, like the special edition of the first movie and stuff like that. We have like uh, extra scenes and whatever. But for right now, this is all I have when it comes to the the, uh, to the Christopher Reeve movies. And I put this right next to it. We got the uh, to this special edition of Superman Returns. Brendan Raff right there. Okay, it's got the nice lenticular cover. Okay. We got four film favorites, Batman collection, okay? So the 1989 Batman up to like Batman and Robin with George Clooney, all right? And I also have the Batman anthology too. This is the same collection as the, the previous one I just showed you, but it have like tons of special features and stuff like that. It's a, it's a great collection, man. If you're a Batman fan, you gotta have this, okay? 1989 to 1997. Tons of special features to this set and stuff like that. They have commentaries and and uh, little featurettes and stuff like that. Batman Returns. Okay. Ugh. And then we got the Christopher Nolan Batman movie. So we got Batman Begins. Okay. The Dark Knight widescreen edition. Okay. And then, oh my gosh, I love the Dark Knight Rises, by the way. Got the Dark Knight Rises steel bookcase here. Mm -hmm. And then we got two Blu-rays. Remember, I, I had uh, two homes at one time. I was like, I had the college house and I was living with my parents. I was like, I gotta have two copies for each of the homes I lived in, you know? Because I was living on, on my own and with my parents at the same time. <laughs> and then, of course, we got the Dark Knight Trilogy box set. All three movies that comes with a little... Uh, Little book, the art and making of the Dark Knight trilogy. Okay, uh, if you want, like, I don't know what. If you want, want to know what's inside, the, just look up someone else's YouTube video. I'm sure they have an unboxing of it or something on them. We got Bat Kid Begins. This is a very sweet story, by the way. So this kid, he's sick, he's dying, right? And uh, it was like Make a Wish or something like that. Uh, had the whole city he was saving the world and stuff like that. It's saving the city, right? He he dressed up as Batman for a day. So this is a sweet story. If I haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Okay. <clears throat> we got Green Lantern. This is the extended cut. It's a little better than uh, what you saw in theaters. <laughs> Luckily, I bought it for only six bucks. Actually, you know what? I think it was on sale that day too. It was like forty percent off or something. But there it is. A lot of people didn't like it. I personally didn't hate it. Uh, but uh, it wasn't like my favorite movie or anything. And then we got, you know what? We're going to talk about all these movies together, okay? The DC Extended Universe movies. We got Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Ultimate Edition. The extended version is a lot more better than what you saw in theaters. Like, if you only saw the, the version that you saw in theaters, uh, I think you're, I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to watch the uh, extended cuts and stuff like that. Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman... Justice League. There you go. Right? I actually really enjoy these movies. A lot of people hate them. I don't care. You know? I like these characters. And for me, it was it was such... It was so cool just to see them in theaters, finally, man. All these characters together. It was, it was like, a, like a... I feel like a little kid again, you know? Superman Doomsday. These are the uh, DC Universe animated movies. There's, they're not in order, by the way. But we're going to talk about... All, all, okay, Superman Doomsday... Superman Unbound, All-Star Superman, Superman vs. the Elite, The Flashpoint Paradox, that, oh, this is a great one by the way, I made its own video, like if you want to see my review, go, go, go to that one, uh, Superman, Batman, Public Enemies, Apocalypse, which has Supergirl in it, <clears throat> and then we got Superman Shazam, The Return of Black Adam, okay, 
Shazam's gonna have his own movie in the uh, DCEU also. Batman Year One comes with a little Catwoman short too. Batman Bad Blood, The Killing Joke. Aye. Although the first part of that movie is not that great. If they just left the Killing Joke story by itself and not had that weird Batgirl story in the beginning, I think it would be a lot more better. Son of Batman, Batman vs. Robin, Assault on Arkham, Under the Red Hood. That's a great one, by the way. I love that one. You can find these movies pretty cheap now. Like some of these, I remember they were like two bucks on Black Friday. Gotham Knight. This is anime style. The Dark Knight Returns, part one. And part two. We got uh, Batman Mr. Freeze Sub Zero and Masked Phantasm. These movies are great too. Very dramatic storylines. Justice League Doom. Gods and Monsters, Justice League. We got Justice League, the uh, Secret Origins. Like the, it was the first five episodes of the, of, the, of the series or something like that. Justice League, Need for a Tear. Justice League versus Teen Titans. This was not too bad, too. Okay. We got Crisis on Two Earths. These are based on, like, graphic novels and such. Wonder Woman. They have a commemorative edition, which uh, looks great, too. I, I still haven't seen, like... Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, and uh, Gotham by Gaslight and stuff like that. I just, you know, ever since I moved here, it's been it's been work, like endless work. Uh, First Flight, Emerald Knight. This should have been the uh, Green Lantern movie, man. The live action one. I'll just say right now, I have the complete Smallville TV series. I watched the entire series with my dad. Like Whenever I think about my dad... Like, this is the thing I did when I was a little, little kid. Like, oh, some you know, you play ball with your dad. You know, you go fishing with your dad. For me, it's watching Smallville. That was the thing that I connect with my dad. I was like, what was the thing that your dad and you did when you when you were a little kid? You know, it's like, oh, I watched the entire series of Smallville with my dad. Um, Lois and Clark, New Avengers Superman. Got all four seasons of that. Okay. The two Supergirl seasons that have been out. Okay. I like the series. I really enjoyed it. Okay. Um, Arrow, I've only seen the first three seasons. There it is. The first three seasons of Arrow. They're, I think they're up to like season six or something right now. Like, I, I'm totally behind. Um, The Flash, complete series. Okay, this is the older series. It won like uh, awards and stuff like that too. The newer Flash series. Okay, I only got the first season on, uh, on DVD. But, um... <clears throat> Uh, they're up to like season four or something right about now. They have like crossovers with like the Arrow and Supergirl, and I never saw a single episode of um, what is it, DC Legends of Tomorrow or whatever. I never saw that show, but man, I, like people say it's really good. I've been watching like YouTube clips and stuff like that. I know, like, uh, there's just tons of shows I I, I just don't want to like. Uh, I'm pretty sure when it's done, they'll have a complete series box set like the, what they did with Smallville. And I'll just uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, binge right to the entire series. Okay, that, that that's my plan. Uh, Birds of Prey, that show's decent. It only lasted for like a season. Then we got the Gotham show, first season right there. I never opened it. Got it from uh, Walmart on Black Friday. It was like uh, ten bucks, so why not, right? Second season right there. Third season, okay. Lego Batman, the movie. Uh, the Lego DC Superheroes, Lego Batman the Movie, DC Superheroes Unite, okay. It has a different plot from the Batman movie one, you know. We got the complete series for Young Justice, and I keep hearing they're going to bring the show back, but I haven't seen it yet. Young Justice, um, Season 1, Volume 1, Season 1, Volume 2, Season 1, Volume 3, okay. And then, this one is uh, Season 1, Part 2, okay? And then Season 2, there it is. Season 2, Part 1 and Part 2 right there, okay? Okay, we're still in DC movies uh, stuff, man. We got the complete series of Batman, uh, the, uh, the Batman, the one that came out later on. 
I actually really enjoyed the series. Man, I watched it with my cousins. We used to go over to Grandpa's house every weekend, and I would, like, uh, record the recent episode of The Batman. We watched it together. It family, okay? Brave and Bold. My uncle really likes this show. My cousin Clark does, too. Check out your uh, YouTube channels, too. Uh, there's a really cool episode where, like, uh, it was, like, uh, they go back in time or whatever, and Bruce Wayne, like, uh, teamed up with his dad and whatever. That, that was a great episode. DC Superhero Girls this is like the end thing when it comes to uh, uh, kids' TV shows, you know. DC Superhero Girls, everyone, knows, like, I see toys and t-shirts and all that stuff. Hero of the Year, Intergalactic Games. I know there's, like, tons more than what's here, but uh, I haven't seen everything, okay? Okay, Constantine with Keanu Reeves. We got 300 and uh, Rise of the Empire. We got Watchmen. We got uh, Watchmen, Tales of Black Freighter, Watchmen, the complete motion comic, all 12 episodes of that, Road to Perdition starring Tom Hanks, that was based on a DC graphic novel, V for Vendetta, a lot of people didn't re don't realize it, but that's actually based on a graphic novel comic thing also, okay? Sin City, this box set right here actually comes with the graphic novel, complete graphic novel right there, okay? Plus, like, uh, original and re-edited uh, versions of the movie, okay? And, of course, they gave me the kill, kill, kill for it, okay? Okay, we have officially reached the Marvel part of the collection, okay? So, we got X-Men. I love this series, by the way. The X-Men uh, classic animated series that was on Fox. So, we got X-Men Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3... Volume 4 and Volume 5. Volume 5 is the only one I had that has a slipcover, okay? Other X-Men series we have here, we got Wolverine and the X-Men. The complete series right there. Got the entire complete series, man. All 26 episodes for 10 bucks. $8.99. Yeah, tax is really high up in the college area. Yeah, okay. X-Men, the anime series. Okay, and they've done like an Iron Man one, Wolverine had his own series and stuff like that, but I only have the X-Men here. Oh my gosh, the X-Men film series. We got the original movie right there. I love the packaging, by the way. It's shiny. I like how it's not like the regular plastic cases here. It's like, it slides out and whatever, okay? X-Men 1.5, which is just that movie with extra stuff, okay? And they put it all together... And the X-Men Blu-ray. That's right. I bought this movie like three times, man. Three freaking times. But the movie was good for me. I, I, I love the X-Men series, man. X-Men United. X2. Okay. I really love Nightcrawler in, in, in this movie. Okay. And X-Men United, I got the Blu-ray also. Okay? But I never opened it. It was just there first for uh, collection purposes. I just want it in my collection. X-Men The Last Stand. I only got one version of that. And on DVD. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Okay, The Wolverine, and Logan, uh, yeah, this is the version that has the noir one too, where is it, I don't want to show you my uh, digital copy code or anything like that, but there is, it has like a black and white version of Logan, I don't know if I'll ever pop that disc in, <laughs> first class, got the Target exclusive here, comes with, uh, what does it come with, what's so special about the Target exclusive? Two hours of special features. Okay, whatever. X-Men Days of Future Past at the regular DVD. And the Road Cut on Blu-ray. There you go. <laughs> and X-Men Apocalypse. Looking forward to uh, Dark Phoenix, which, is come, which has not been released at the time of this video. Got the first Deadpool movie here. Deadpool 2 is not out on DVD yet. Or, or Blu-ray. Okay. Got Fantastic Four stuff. Got the Fantastic Four TV series. Okay, all the episodes of the 1994 uh, series. Uh, then we got the two ones with, with uh, Jessica Alba right there. Okay, hang on. Everything's falling apart here. Fantastic Four, the those that movie. <laughs> we got the Blade collection right here. It's got the the uh, up to Blade Trinity, and then it has the uh, like the series. Okay. Hulk, the one from Ang Lee. Okay. Daredevil. 
and Electra. Okay. Oh my gosh. <sighs> my back. Oh. Okay. I'm just going to sit down here. We got Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage. And we got the the uh, steelbook case of Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance. Now, here's the deal. I remember you had to pre-order it, get the DVD later. I only got the DVD, but if you pre-order it, you get the um, you get this uh, 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 steelbook case with it. Okay, so this you only get this with the pre-order. Punisher and Punisher War Zone. Okay, I have not seen the uh, Punisher series. That recently came out. The one that was connected to the Daredevil. I haven't seen any of those, by the way. Jessica Jones, Luke Cage. I haven't seen any of those. Okay. I've just been so busy. Okay, we got the Spider-Man animated series from when I was a child. We got three... I think all this together is like 12 episodes. Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. The Venom Saga, which has like five episodes, I believe. And Daredevil vs. Uh, Daredevil vs. Uh, Spider-Man. Okay. I wish they would release like a complete series box set here in the U.S. I know they're released in other parts of the world. We got the MTV series. Huh, it's like three episodes. Yeah. They actually got like a bootleg version of this that has all the uh, all the episodes. But I never really watched it. Okay, then we got Spectacular Spider-Man to this collection. This is the first season. I hear the series is really good. I, but I only watched uh, like the first disc. <laughs> um... We got the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man series. Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3. Okay. They're not... Uh, I love them. But, like, the second one especially were, was really good. And then, uh, I guess they, they just stopped making it. And then we got uh, the uh, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man movies. Okay. I made unboxing videos and reviews of these when the movies first came out. Go check out those videos if you'd like. Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, uh, yeah. Love this movie, man. I think I've seen it like seven times since since it came out on Blu-ray. Like I bought this, I've seen the movie like seven times, which I think is like more than any other movies that we, we've seen here. Man, you guys have no idea what I go through just to make these videos for you guys. Man, I have, like it took like an hour just to clean, like just to, just to find everything from all the boxes. Look at my collection, man. It's all it's all been destroyed now, and I got put it all back too. <coughs> Hopefully you guys watch this video. Okay, the Marvel Animated Features 8 film collection. There's the movies that are in this collection. The Ultimate Avengers, Doctor Strange, Hulk vs. Uh, Thor and Wolverine, Planet Hulk and the Invincible Iron Man. Okay, I've seen them all. And then we got the MCU movies, at least phase one of it. Iron Man, this is the Ultimate 2 Disc Edition. I love the box. See, so it comes out and you see uh, Robert Downey Jr. Okay. Got two versions of the Incredible Hulk. The one with Edward Norton in it. Okay. The one of this is a 3D special edition that has extra special features. We got Thor, Iron Man 2. This is like the, what is this? The Best Buy or Target exclusive? Like, uh, this is not what you, what the packaging usually looks like. Okay. Got the first Avenger. Marvel's Avengers, of course. Guardians of the Galaxy, which I really enjoyed. I got the soundtrack to it, too. Age of Ultra, and then we got the first season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, I stopped watching after like, I don't know, five or six episodes. I just, I, I, I wanted to see these characters, man. Like, they would talk about them and not, not uh, uh, see them, right? Uh, okay, the rest of these are kind of like movies based on comic books and graphic novels, but they're not really Marvel or DC. So we've got Spawn. Spawn 2, which is like part of the uh, HBO series. I got the full box set right here. So that, right, is that. Okay. The Mask and some of the Mask. Ugh. Men in Black. Men in Black 2. Men in Black 3. Men in Black, the animated series, is the first season. Okay. I don't think they ever released other seasons beside that one. The Tick. Mystery Man, this is funny. He makes fun of uh, superheroes and all that stuff. Dread. Kick Ass. Uh, well, Kick Ass 2. Uh, Chronicle, which is about a boy that uh, got 
um, superpowers, right? <laughs> we went all crazy. Sucker Punch, wait a sec. I don't think we should even, I mean, whatever. It's, it's, I have Sucker Punch. Hancock, okay, super, like, uh, superpowers, stuff like that. Epic movie, which makes fun of, uh, you know, these type of movies, and Meet the Spartans. Okay. Which, I'm adding this here because I, I didn't include, like, 300 and stuff like that. That is it. That is my collection of comic book-related movies and DVDs and Blu-rays related to, uh, you know, Marvel and DC and comic book characters and superheroes and all that stuff. Thank you for watching. I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to lay right on top of these uh, DVDs. <laughs> Rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Bye.